it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I was so tired yesterday that I didn't do Bible study, and I'm sorry, but we had been um, out of town and slept at Chris's mom's house and dad's, and then we'd been to the funeral, and it was really hot outside. I actually was bad, and I stayed in the car during the gravesite, and I know it wasn't very respectable, but it was so hot, y'all, so I did not get out of the car. I knew they wouldn't be long, as hot as, hot as it was, and they had a, they had a tent, um, well, it wasn't a tent, it's a platform that they built where um, she was buried so that you can have your service under the platform, but the way the sun was coming in, it was in full sun. Anyway, by the time we did that, drove home, got home, we had 425 volume one cookbooks sitting on the front porch. I had to bring them in, unpack those, and count them, and then we had to sign a lot of them um, and get them ready to mail. And so, I was just exhausted last night and did not get back with y'all for Bible study. Um, and y'all know that's how it is with me. If I feel like it, I do it. And if I don't, and lots of times, you know, if I'm having a bad day, I do have fibromyalgia and, and arthritis and different things. And most of the time, I'm pretty good. But there's times that I'm not. It's just according to the day. And if I get out and do a whole lot or if I get up and I cook a lot, then sometimes the next day I ain't worth a flip. But anyway, with that said... I straightened up the house last night with my little GoPro on. I have not, I still have not had time because we've been so busy to sit down and see what kind of view y'all are going to have with that GoPro. So, today I am going to the health center at our Walmart, the first Walmart to ever have a health center. And I am going to have a crown and a root canal. I'm not really excited about having a root canal. It's supposed to take at least three hours. So I have brought my GoPro with me. Not so that y'all can see the dentist, but so that you guys can walk around Walmart with me. Now, it won't be live. I still haven't figured this thing out. Um, I don't think you can go live with a GoPro. And I really, I really just don't know I'm not going to know until I download some of this stuff off of it onto my computer to see what kind of a view y'all are going to have and what angle is the best and all that stuff. So, the cool thing about the GoPro is while I'm at home, I can strap it to my head. And like y'all can walk around with me and see everything that I see. But now when I'm in Walmart, I'm going to strap it to my um, purse strap. And so, y'all, the elevation will be a little bit different. So, I got to get used to, um, like I said, the view and the angle that it uses. But, I'm going to use it in Walmart today. Because I'm going to shop a little bit in between getting my tooth fixed. I think I am. I know I can read my Bible while I'm in there or listen to my Bible. I've got my earbuds. So, I can listen to my audio Bible while I'm in the chair. And get ready for our Bible study tonight. Hopefully, I'll feel like doing it. Um, and then I want to walk around Walmart and get a few things. And maybe show y'all some of my favorite pantry and uh, food items. The good thing about wearing the GoPro is since it's not live, my reception, um, you know, I don't have to worry about is the reception good and is it clear coming in for y'all. So, I think I'll do that. So, I'm going to do a couple of things today while I'm getting my teeth fixed, I think. I hope y'all are having a blessed, we'll see, it's uh, Wednesday. I'm a little bit crazy about what day of the week it is because we've been so busy at St. Mary's, got home, and then turned around and had to go uh, to Fort Oglethorpe, which is um, where Chris grew up yesterday, well, Monday and Tuesday. So, um, Ashley wants to know if I get my nails done regularly. Well, I used to, Ashley, and I go, I, I take it in spurts, okay? Some we, some months, um, I get my nails done no matter what, and then most of the time, if my nails get in bad shape from getting false nails, then I like to give them a break, and right now, they're getting a break, okay? 
but I will say there is a new press on nail that you can get at the drugstore or at Walmart um, it's called impressions made by kiss k-i-s-s -I, -S. I tried it last week it lasted the whole entire week and y'all I have my hands in water I cook a lot and I do a lot so I was very impressed with the impressions okay I bought some that you have to use glue to put on and wore them to the funeral and they were black tips you know because I was wearing black and they pop one of them popped off last night so they only lasted a day and a half and that's not gonna get it with me I'm not gonna pay eight dollars for a pack of nails even with the good glue the brush on glue and it pop off another thing I don't like about them is that when I'm cooking those kind that glue on can pop off in my food and I think that's gross so I'm actually gonna get me a couple more packs of the impressions today while I'm in Walmart and I'll show them to you guys but um, they have them in matte colors and then they of course they have them in shiny colors they have them in square nails and they have them in coffin shaped nails which are the rage nail for the young people but y'all I just cannot wear coffin nails I feel like a vampire I do I'm just I just think it's gross okay sorry if you like them my kids like them but I'm not wearing those coffin nails I'm too old I'm 50 I'm not wearing coffin nails anyway so if you're in the store y'all try um, Ashley said something about strips not trips what did I say Ashley I didn't get that part. I'm driving, you know. Um, I'll stop so I could read. I can actually read if it pops up. I mean, I can see the screen, and the only thing that's up there for me now, oh, Ashley's gonna talk to me. These strips do not damage your nails and last for about two weeks. No glue involved or false nails. Why are you selling them, Ashley? If you are, let me know, and I'll give it a try. Um, what I liked about these impressions is it's more like a, the thing that sticks to your nail is more like a sticky substance, almost like, okay, the only example I can give you is like, let's say you buy salsa in a jar and you decide you want to take the label off of it. A lot of people put that jar in a hot sink and then they peel the label off of it and the glue that's behind the label is real stringy and sticky and you know what I'm talking about. That's the kind of glue that the impressions have on them and I really, really like them. There was no way one was coming off in my food and they lasted so much longer. So um, I got a trick about getting the label off of a jar. It's a little easier than just laying them in hot water and waiting on them. But my hot water, y'all, I keep scalding hot. My hot water tank is turned up to hot, not a little hot. The reason why is a lot of people think that they save money by not making their hot water tank have really hot water, when in fact they're losing money because every time you fill up your sink or take a shower or take a bath, you're using all of your hot water at one time and it empties out the tank. When if you would turn up the heat on the tank, it uses less water because you're mixing it with cold and then your tank doesn't empty out and you don't run out of hot water. So my, with that said, my hot water is scalding hot. You can see it smoking when it comes out. I don't have it turned all the way up, but I have it turned up good. And I don't have kids, so I don't have to worry about it scalding them. But anyway, if you'll take a jar and you want to get the label off, you can fill it full of that extremely hot water. Then just take and run under the faucet to just the outside of the label, just barely to get it a little bit damp. Leave that hot water in that jar for about a minute or two. 
then take your scraper, your handy dandy scraper that I've told y'all to get. If you don't got one, go to Dollar Tree and get you one for a dollar. They're not good quality, but they, they work. Then take your scraper and scrape that label off of that jar and it's gonna come right off. It's so easy. Because one time I was trying to get the label off of a jar and one of my viewers told me that if I put it in a sink full of hot water, it was easier to get off and she was right. It was easier to get off. But this trick where you just fill it full of hot, hot water, if you got an electric kettle, you could boil your water in your electric kettle then pour that hot water into the jar that you want to take the label off of. It is so hot, that label just slides right off. I'm almost at the Walmart, y'all. The dreaded day. Nothing is worse. Well, I'm sure there's worse things, but... Than getting a root canal. If you've never had a root canal, I had to get one when I was a young teenager because my sister knocked this tooth halfway off and my roots were exposed. And I had to have a root canal on this front tooth and a cap put on when I was still in high school. And, of course, the cap has had to be replaced over the years. I think I've only had it replaced once, actually. It's been a very good cap. But root canals are just horrible. If you think getting a tooth filled is bad, having a root canal is, like, awful. And they... They dig it out, and then they pack it and pack it. It's just awful. So, y'all, I'm about to be under the, the uh, drill of a root canal. And my roots and my teeth are so bad. Um, that's why I'm glad it's not going to pull the tooth. Because all, not everybody in my family, but about four out of six of us, have roots that wrap around the jawbone. They actually curve and hook underneath our jaw bones. So nobody will pull our teeth. They send us to um, surgeons, you know, like the dental surgeon guy. I remember when I was in high school, um, I had a tooth pulled back here in the back. It's still gone. I've never let them replace it with anything. But I had this tooth pulled in the back, y'all, and um, Anyway, I'm going to sit here and talk to y'all for about three minutes. Whoop! I'm here. I had a tooth pulled in the back, and I went to my regular dentist. And he yanked. I was a teenager. He yanked and yanked and yanked. And I'm not kidding. He kept trying and kept trying to pull my tooth. And he couldn't pull it. And he was breaking it. And he went back and looked at the x-ray, and he came back in there, and he goes, Honey... Your roots are wrapped completely around your jawbone. He said, I can't get this tooth out. We're going to have to cut it out and break it in pieces. It took him three hours. And from that appointment on, because I was always very limber, I used to put both of my legs behind my head. I've always been very flexible and limber. And um, But because I'm flexible, he had my jaws so far apart for so long, I got TMJ from it. If y'all know, I'm sure some of y'all know what TMJ is. It's when your cartilage slides out of place uh, that goes in between your jaw. And I got TMJ really bad from that. And uh, later on when I was in my 20s, I actually had two surgeries for it. Hoping you're not driving while doing this video. Mary, do you know that I actually had a cop pull me over and I talked to him about me videoing and using my phone. He said it was absolutely fine. It was no different than using a radio or talking to somebody in the car as long as I didn't hold my phone. And I'm not holding my phone, so I'm fine. He said, just don't pick up that phone and hold it and dial anybody or try to type anything. Um, and I said, okay. But anyway, yes, it hurt. And when I had TMJ surgery, I was going to tell y'all because some of y'all might have it. I used to sleep with a mouthpiece every night until I had surgery, and it kept me from grinding my teeth, and it helped it from hurting and being painful in the joint. Well, later on, when I was about 26, I guess, first surgery ever, besides my tonsils when I was little, they cut 
they did a laser surgery first, y'all, and it was terrible. My jaws locked up, and I literally, not kidding y'all, I couldn't open my mouth, but barely far enough to get a toothbrush in my mouth. And that's as far as I could open my mouth for weeks. And that was from the laser surgery. It did terrible, it didn't work. So then they took and they cut me from the top of my ear all the way down through here to the bottom. And they went in both sides and they moved the cartilage back into position and they pulled two wisdom teeth, two wisdom teeth I didn't have. I only had two instead of four. So they pulled my wisdom teeth and moved that cartilage back. Y'all, ever since I had that surgery, it was a horrible surgery, and I had to drink milkshakes for weeks. But ever since I had that surgery, I have not popped when I opened my mouth. It was the best thing I've ever done. Painful, but the best thing I've ever done. Ashley said she had jaw surgery at 18 years old. And, oh, bless your heart, Aunt Ashley. I know it is horrible, but the best thing about it for me was drinking the cherry milkshakes. My mama made me maraschino cherry milkshakes every day. My good old mama, I miss her, y'all. I'm gonna go in here and um, I am going to shop today. I'm gonna have these teeth pulled and hopefully you guys will see some of the footage and hopefully I'll get to do a Bible study as well today. I love all of y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. And thanks for watching Real Southern Woman, where real life is just part of the Real Southern Woman's life. Having a root canal. Bye, y'all. Love ya.